Hello community! A lot of you ask me, hey, next week uh, ChatGPT will be available on Azure OpenAI. Should I buy now the API from Microsoft Azure or should I go with OpenAI API? <laughs> so let's have a look at this. So Microsoft Azure OpenAI service to start soon provides now a REST API access to OpenAI's powerful language models. So at first, you know, we have here three names, Microsoft, Azure, the cloud business, and OpenAI. OpenAI is the name of a startup company. So interesting to see now here in this service offering by Microsoft that now it is already Microsoft Azure OpenAI services. And then you have the company OpenAI, the startup that has also an API platform and it offers there the latest model and guides for safety best practices. So interesting, do they have different models? What is the price difference? What, are, what is the difference in general? So let's have a look at this. What are the models they offer up to the information I have today? Microsoft tells us GPT-3 base series, and the new or the chat GPT, so the GPT 3.5 Turbo, some codecs and some embeddings. And if you go now to OpenAI here in the white area, you see OpenAI has the latest models, the chat the GPT 3.5 Turbo. It's a most capable GPT 3.5 model and optimized for chat at one tenth of the cost of the text Da Vinci 003 will be updated with our latest model. So this is it. Then you have a snapshot from March 1st, 2023. And then you have your classical, oops, text Da Vinci 003. So comparing the models, you see we have here the GPT 3.5 Turbo and we have here the GPT 3.5 Turbo. Whatever happens with GPT 4, we don't know yet. Beautiful. Now, why? And here I must say OpenAI is very clear, go there. And it says, why did OpenAI choose to release an API instead of open sourcing the models? Now in the startup company, OpenAI tells us, yes, first, commercializing the technology help us pay for our ongoing efforts. And you remember there was a heavy investment by Microsoft into the startup OpenAI. And I think they have a profit sharing agreement. So. Very simple, they have to pay back Microsoft. Second, many of the models underlying the API are very large and very expensive to run. This is true. And of course, they allow us to respond to the misuse of technology. So they, in my terms, are able to respond very quickly and it's not happening outside and you can get sued. No, everything is running on their servers. So they have a tighter control if somebody would like to misuse this technology. Makes sense, they have to pay the bill, they have to pay the rent, they have to pay back the investor, return on investment, sounds logic. Microsoft Azure OpenAI service has no statement why it does not open source the model, but I think the term service here, commercial term service is everything you need to know. Now, what does it cost? OpenAI, very clear chat GPT models are optimized for the dialogue. The performance of GPT 3.5 Turbo is on par with Instruct Da Vinci and the model usage for the tokens only. Remember, this is only the tokens. 1K token costs about 0.002 US dollars. Access to Microsoft Azure OpenAI is, at the moment, limited. As, as they told us, we navigate high demand. They have now a list that you can inscribe that you, yeah, and to say for now, we are working with customer with an existing partnership with Microsoft. So if you are a huge American company, you have years of cooperation with Microsoft, you are one of the lucky. Yeah, congratulations. For the rest of us, uh, there is a waiting list you can inscribe. So if you want to work now, now with this system, I think I would recommend maybe have a look at the company OpenAI and evaluate the offer. Now I have to say, 
If we now look to Azure, to Microsoft Azure OpenAI service pricing, and they have here this information on the internet for us. Unfortunately, only at the moment for central US, not for Western Europe. And they tell us, hey, those are the models. And you see here we have text DaVinci and we have code DaVinci. And for ChatGPT, the GPT 3.5 Turbo version, they have no prices as of today. Now, I showed you here on the right side that TechCrunch has an article from yesterday where they say, hey, we expect it also for a 1K token for chat GPT. It's about $0.002. So this is more or less, if you go back here, they assume they will have the same price just based on the tokens. I don't know. So whenever you make your decision, Please go Azure, Microsoft, Pricing, Cognitive Services, OpenAI Service, Pricing, and then you see for your region in your currency what it would cost. Beautiful. Next up. On the side of the company OpenAI, they have an OpenAI API. They have a very good informative instruction here, start with the basics. This is a screenshot from this exactly platform, openai.com overview. They have a quick start tutorial. They show you very clearly, very detailed how you can do this. They have some beautiful examples. You can just follow the example to really learn a lot of. So this is up and operational on the side of Microsoft Azure. Uh, may I hear a quote? Uh, learn Microsoft.com Azure Cognitive Services overview. In addition to applying for initial access, you, of course, all solution using Azure OpenAI are required to go through a use case review before they can be released for production use. More specific information is included in the application form. Yes, you can download this application form. You can fill in all your data, everything from your company, and then Microsoft will decide if you are eligible to have access to Azure OpenAI API. And Microsoft tells you, hey, we appreciate your patience. So if you want to use it now, maybe there is this little startup company, OpenAI, and they have some operational and I think good documentation. Here, of course, you can apply for this. Now, fine tuning the models. This is something people ask me. Now, remember, fine-tuning the models means we have a pre-trained model, and now you take your company data, 100,000 of documents, and you fine-tune the model. This means you run the complete model through a fine-tuning process where all the weights in all the different transformer blocks will be changed in all layers. So this is a really, really intensive pro procedure. And they tell you here, hey, for the training and for the usage, this is just for the tokens. Now remember, there is, and I don't know this now for sure, only the model Ada, Baggage, Curry, and Da Vinci. And you see there are some models missing for fine tuning. And I found the information fine tuning is not available yet for GPT 3.5 Turbo, our chat GPT. And up until now, there's no official announcement if it will be, when it will be, whatever. So but keep in mind, this is fine-tuning. Now, I told you that fine-tuning is just one option that we have. The other option is in-context learning. Few-shot prompting, if you want the old wording. So there is for fine-tuning, and the other one is for ICL you can do. Now, Microsoft, I have to say, is now you're very precise. It gives you now three pieces of information. This is what Microsoft Azure OpenAI API has now an information for the costs for fine tuning the models. So remember, we change here all the weights in all the layers of the model. So it tells us per 1000 token we have, and now we just look at here the text DaVinci because they have, of course, no chat GPT. So text DaVinci costs about $0.02 per thousand token. And then Microsoft is so transparent, they tell us, hey, 
the training per compute hour because we have to run this on it on either a gpu or a tpu cluster for text da vinci is about 84 dollars i've heard in western europe it should be around 100 euro maybe please check whenever you want to make a decision and then of course you have the hosting per hour Tax Da Vinci, three dollars, and now depending on your data set that you fine tune your model on, if you have a data set that is really I don't know forty gigabytes, you have of course additional cost. But I think Microsoft will help you here to find your optimal pricing. So, in summary, what do I know today? If we compare Azure OpenAI and OpenAI, there's also from Microsoft short uh, documentation and this is it and they tell you if you now compare Asia OpenAI and the OpenAI from the let's say startup company OpenAI what is the difference and as you can see here regarding the content the model the APIs Asia OpenAI co-develops the APIs with OpenAI so Microsoft and the startup OpenAI they co-develop after Microsoft invested, I don't know, $10 billion, $13 billion, I don't know the exact amount. So they have a co-development, ensuring compatibility and a smooth transition from one to the other. So I think if regarding only the core technology of the models, they should be really similar if you have a co-development. Now, what are the other two points? Microsoft now claims Azure OpenAI service gives customer advanced language AI with GPT-3, Codex, the models, with the security and enterprise promise of Azure. So I would translate this, if you are a customer from, for your company and you, have, you run, I don't know, Bank of America runs the services at Microsoft Azure. Well, of course, then if you are a customer, if you have your services already up and running at Azure, then why should you not take another service package from Microsoft Azure and maybe integrate this for marketing, for sales efforts, whatever. And the third one that Microsoft tells us with Azure OpenAI, customer get the security capabilities of Microsoft Azure while running the same models as OpenAI. Uh, so they tell us, hey, we have the same model as OpenAI, but you have here, let's say, this additional security capabilities of Microsoft Azure. Now, they are now in the business quite for some years. And if you are a customer of Microsoft Azure, you know if you trust them, you know what you think about it and you will make your decision based on your experience with Microsoft Azure. Tell us Azure OpenAI offers private networking, regional availability, hopefully coming soon, and responsible AI content filtering. So this indicates that they have additional filtering of AI content, but for this point, I have no information at the current time. So, I hope to give you some kind of information before next week. You see here the availability of Azure OpenAI. If you are one of the lucky, if you want to inscribe on their waiting list, if you think about going to OpenAI API or going to Azure OpenAI API, I hope I provided some basic information for you. So you can make your decision in the coming weeks and months, which service you prefer. I say thank you for listening and I hope I see you in my next video.